Hey y'all, welcome back to the Commonwealth Cabin. Have a special episode today, as you can see. We're gonna do one of our top 10 videos, and it's about a topic that I've been very interested in for a <laughs> long, long time, Cabbage Patch Kids. Top 10 things to look for. I'm so excited about today's video. I just think there's so much money to be made when you're out there garage sailing, out there at thrift stores, if you know what you're looking for. I've never known what I'm looking for out there for Cabbage Patch Kids, but I'm gonna learn today. We're gonna tell you about it. We have Sarah here, the proprietor of The Daily Cabbage on Instagram, and she's gonna tell us all about it. All right, y'all, I have Sarah here from The Daily Cabbage. Yes. So when I do these videos, you know, I'm not an expert in everything. I love going to garage sales, <laughs> thrift stores, and I never know what to look for, so I thought I would call in the expert here, <laughs> and Sarah's gonna help us and tell us what to look for. Sarah, yes. number 10 here. Okay. What should we be looking for if we're trying to find some value in Cabbage Patch Kids? Um, so first off would be the head mold. Head mold, so yes. we're talking right here. Yes. Okay, yes. gotcha. And how do we determine so what what's you, what? How you will determine the head mold is on the back of the head here. Okay. There is a number. Now there's a number 88 and there's a number two. Okay. The number in the middle is the head mold. Okay, so this is the head mold. This, yes. What's that number? That number is a factory number. Okay. Um, but this here is so the that's head two. mold number. Yes. Okay, so, so you want to look for the head mold number um, on the back of the head. And sometimes okay. it'll be over to the side. And when we're looking these things up on eBay, if you put that number in, you'll be able to, to, to find out maybe the value of, in, in that case, a number two. Right. right. Okay. Right. So what's the one we're looking for here at number 10 then? What are we looking uh, number for? Number 19. Number 19. Yes. See, I've got some cabbage patch up here. Now See, that got one, one has, tooth. Yes. This one has like a bunch of teeth. Okay. Very toothy mouth. Very yes. toothy mouth. Yes. I is like 19. it. 19. Yes. 19. And those yes. can bring a varied amount of money, I yes. assume. In the hundreds. In the hundreds. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. wow. She walked in here, y'all, just to show you she's an expert, and she's like, that one's fake. Yes. <laughs> <She's>, <laughs> totally so right. I'm selling a fake cabbage yeah, patch. The face kid. looks real, though, but the feet, that was the, yeah. <laughs> Not real. Very good. So I might have to pull that one down. You know, fake Care Bears actually sell for pretty decent money. Oh, wow. They call them fakies. Oh, okay. So I don't know about fake Cabbage Patch Kids, yeah. though. Maybe yeah. not so much. <laughs> All right, very good. Anything else we got to know about number 19? Uh, no, that's about it. All right, I just had to grab this one down. I had to test her because she walked in literally. She was sitting over here, <laughs> and she looked up. She said, that's fake. Yes. And I'm like, what? But over on the side, it says Cabbage Patch on the clothes. So yes. l tell me how you knew it was fake, and then show me some earmarks here and, okay. and talk about this um, fake one here. The body, mm -hmm. the, the no toe stitching. Um, in the fabric, you can just tell it's a different type of fabric. Okay. So no, no toes. Someone but probably you do actually think made this. this. Is, okay, got yeah. it. And so the mold might be like they copied somebody's mold. You right. Can tell, that's actually really, really hard. Right. And like the hair is actually like this yarn. They never use like that thick yarn okay. like that. So okay. it's you could just. And so it won't have a marking on the back then. No. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. you're detecting my fakes here. Yes. I gotta call you up, <laughs> but but I might get some money out of this this outfit yes okay yeah, a little I've, bit maybe yeah i've actually never seen this outfit okay so cool you might, yeah you so might maybe that's what i should stuff. do are there outfits that make some money there are how yeah. do we know if there's an outfit that makes um some money? by the tag in the outfit here okay so each tag in yes the outfit. so this one here is from a uh, kt factory this okay. is a little more desirable but if you mm -hmm. ever see j okay um that means jessmar okay and those are made in spain and those Very ones cool. are more desirable awesome number nine what else are we looking for give me another head mold here um number 17 number 17 so yes. what's the if if you can you tell a 17 by looking at the at the face yes at the okay. mouth at the it, mouth yeah they, they have um there's two little teeth at we'll the put bottom a picture right here of the mouth and they kind of look like they're coming in like oh, okay when like a kid loses their teeth right two right. little like nub gotcha. teeth. yeah <laughs> so this one right here's got one two coming in right okay <laughs> but yeah you'll see the 17 on the back and that one's a desirable one okay too. and what what can people maybe expect for some of those in the hundreds in the hundreds yep. mm -hmm. okay yeah wow. depending on like too if it has a desirable outfit paired with it then it can so be so you're telling me when i've sold cabbage patch over the years and i've sold a bunch mm -hmm. that 
sometimes I'll come in and I'll put a price on one because I know nothing and it sits forever. And sometimes mm-hmm. I put a price on it and it's gone in seconds. Mm-hmm. I've probably way, way right. undersold or it. Or someone right? may, they just may want the clothes. Okay. All right. Number done. 19 yeah. and number 17. Yes. I'm already impressed with number 10 and number nine. So number eight, what are we looking for for Cabbage Patch uh, to make tag, some money? The um, tag right here, this here is a P factory. So that's the factory that they were made in. If you okay. see a J in the circle, okay. it'll say Jessmar made in Spain. Okay. Right here. Um, and those ones and are also... that's on the doll itself. Yes. Okay. It'll say Jessmar made in Spain. Like this one here says it's made in um, China. It'll okay. say made in Spain, Made Jessmar. in Spain. And so yes. those dolls and those clothes yes. then are, can be worth some money. Yes. So what are we talking about for some of those? Um, between, I'd say, depending on the condition, the mm-hmm. clothing, between right. like 75 to 100. Wow. Very mm-hmm. good. Very good. Jessmar. Jessmar? Jessmar. Just, so you're just looking for a J? Yep, J okay. in a circle. Yep. All right, I can have, man, I'm going to have to watch this video like three times and get it in my head. I'm going to be out there hunting down Cabbage Patch kits. I've already learned so much out here, but I can't wait to get through number one here. So we're at number, what are we on, seven? Seven, yeah. All right, give me number seven. What am I looking for? All right, number seven is going to be what they call Triang Pedigree Cabbage Patch. Triang, T-R-I-A-N-G? Yep, Pedigree. Okay. Got it. Um, they're made in South Africa. Really? So it will be noted on the tag, just like the Made in Spain. Just like the tag we just looked at. Yep. And they won't have a little circle, though. No circle. It'll just say Made in um, South Africa Triang Pedigree. Okay. And the eye paint on those dolls will be like a cloudy looking paint. Okay. So they won't look as clear as, as that. As clear as these? Yes. Or these right there? Yeah. So the, okay. they used paint in that factory that didn't dry correctly, and it kind of like clouded. <laughs> okay. So you'll see those. They might not look like they're real, but they're actually more valuable. And what are we looking at for those? I'd say between like 50 to 75. 50 to 70. Triang Pedigree, yeah. South Africa. See, I've yep. never really taken the time to look at these tags. Yep. I don't know why. I look at the tags <laughs> for everything else. But yep. I got to start looking at the tags and the signature. Are you going to talk about the signature later? Because that confuses um, yeah, me a bit. Yeah, we can talk about the signature. All right, we'll do that too. Yeah. Hey, babe. You got a Cabbage Patch joke? <laughs> I know you got one. It's, it's bad. bad. Am I going to get canceled? Yep. What's the joke? What do you call a Cabbage Patch kid with a yeast infection? Oh, my goodness. Y'all don't cancel. <laughs> Go sub right now. I don't know. What do you call it? Sauerkraut. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, we are on to number six, yep. and I know I'm excited about this one yes, because this one him. reminds me like of my when I was like 12, yes. and I asked you the date right here. Yep. This is like Saved by the Bell type yes. stuff right yeah. here. That's Zach Morris's and little brother. sure enough, she told me 1989, <laughs> yes. which is the yep. best, best year ever, of course. All right, tell me what we're looking for at six. So um, these are what they call designer line or designer line transitional Cabbage Patch okay. Kids. Because it was in 1989, whenever um, Coleco trans, like, they went between Coleco, Coleco and Hasbro. to Hasbro. Yes, right. so okay. they call them transitional. And during that time, they made these kids that are called designer lines that mm-hmm. have, like, these rad-looking outfits that, like, everyone <laughs> just loves. And, like, the, the cool hairstyle. So mm-hmm. that one is more valuable. I still um, have that hairstyle. That's why I wear a hat. My wife <laughs> right, doesn't right. let people see it in public. So. <laughs> anyway, that one yeah. is cool. Yes, like, I almost want that one. <laughs> how much would that... How much you sell that one for? Now, Maybe what, I'll buy now, it off this of This one here, probably, in this condition, because it's mm-hmm. not in... 100% the greatest condition. Mm-hmm. I'd say probably around like 50 50 but, but if you find them in the box, I mean, they can go yeah, in the hundreds, hundreds. also. Mm-hmm. And what's the tag going to look like on something like that? Um, It's going to say either Coleco or it's going to say Hasbro. Copyright 1989. Okay. So they literally were transitioning and that making year. some for both yes. that year. Yes. So the same models, but yes. two different tags on yes. them. Interesting. Okay. Yep. I like that. All right. Thank you. So we actually covered two right there designer line and transitional yes okay and now do they have transitional ones that aren't necessarily designer lines they do okay so there's there's why we've got two right there so that means we're on to number four what's the fourth thing we should be looking for number four on the list it's going to be popcorn hair popcorn hair all right so i have no idea i assume that that's definitely not popcorn hair that's not popcorn hair Okay, no. so I'm a, hopefully we're gonna you're gonna send me a picture. We're gonna put Absolutely. it up right here, and so this yes. is something that should be easily identifiable, but yes. maybe hard to find. Yes. Okay. Yes, for so sure. So describe it to me as um, we're looking at the so picture. So it does look like this, mm-hmm. more like loops. Uh-huh. That's like what they consider a short hair loop. Okay. Um, it's going to be longer 
and like loops on the strands. Okay. So it almost looks like popcorn. Popcorn. Yep. And <laughs> what do you know? All different colors. <laughs> yeah. And I imagine now, do those are those over different years? They, they are. just have mm -hmm. okay, so yep. they could vary in yeah, they price could be different years. Mm -hmm. because of other factors as well. But yes. some of the more desirable popcorn hair ones could go for yep. about what? Um, I'd say at least 50 and up. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I'm out there scanning very quickly. And if I could see that, it's yep. definitely something worth picking up. For sure. Awesome. For those of you watching the Commonwealth Flipper channel for the very first time, you might not know that I used to be, for 21 years, a high school history teacher. So I just can't resist the urge to throw in some relevant history. Now, while the Cabbage Patch craze of 1983 might have been one of the biggest Christmas crazes, you could even call it a riot if you want to, of all time, it certainly wasn't the first toy fad and it's not gonna be the last. The next decade, 1996, saw the Tickle Me Elmo craze that swept the country during the fourth quarter and 1998 saw Furbies. The 2000s have seen their fair share, just a couple, 2009 Zuzu Pets and 2014 saw the great Elsa doll shortage <laughs> of the holiday season. You can go way back to the 19-teens and you could see the Raggedy Ann dolls, the beginning of pop culture toys starting way back over a hundred years ago and the die cast toys for the boys out there. And then on into the 20s, it kept rolling and most of this stuff became popular culture for the first time because the country was connected by ads you would see in comic books in the 1920s and the very back pages of the earliest comic books in the 1920s. And the advent of something called the radio, you started to see slowly but surely the same toys going all over the country because of the radio. And in those roaring 20s, you saw Madame Alexander dolls, you saw yo-yos, and then move on to the next century where comic books became more and more significant, the x-ray glasses at the end of the comic books. I think the very first movie character doll came out and that was Scarlett O'Hare. In that same decade, the 1930s, you started to see Monopoly and Sorry and Scrabble as mass marketed toys or board games to kids and adults. The 1940s saw Silly Putty and Tonka Trucks and all the crazy stuff like the pet rock of the 1970s, but it was the 50s, the 1950s, that married industrialization, mass production of goods, mass marketing, mass consumer society, and popular culture because of one thing, and that was the television. That decade saw hula hoops, they saw frisbees, they saw ant farms, but there was two big ones. One ushered in the TV era, and one exited the decade as one of the most popular toys of all time, and it continues, both of them continue on down to this day. The first toy ever seen in a major TV marketing campaign was Mr. Potato Head in 1952. And back then it was all the parts and pieces, but you had to supply your own potato. And so there was a craze that swept across the country in 1952 and the decade of the 1950s exited with a bang as well the barbie doll in 1959. but it seems to me with all the toy fads and crazes and all the stuff that has swept across this country a lot of times near the holiday season almost nothing even comes close to the absolute craziness that went on in the malls across this country in the 1980s 1983 to be exact with the Cabbage Patch doll. All right, we're getting down there. We're getting, are we on number three? We're on number three. We're on number three. All right, number three thing we're looking for. So I'm I'm hoping there's some real money in some of these. What are we yes. looking for? Um, They are going to be Soft Sculpture, Little People. Soft Sculpture, Little People. Yes. So Soft Sculpture, I think I know enough to know that that means that it, it's like this for the face. Yes, absolutely. Okay, yep. and Little People, does that mean they're old and they weren't called Cabbage Patch yet? <laughs> or does that mean they're smaller than these guys? Yes, that, so that's what that means. They weren't called Cabbage Patch, okay. patch yet. They yes. were still um, made by Xavier Roberts, okay. but they were like a soft sculpture face, a soft body. They were a little bit bigger okay. and kind of more customized. Okay, and so we'll put some pictures up mm -hmm. over here. More customized. What yes. do you mean? So there were like, they would make more custom outfits for them. Okay. I mean, they still do with Cabbage Patch kids, mm -hmm. but these ones were like a... 
They weren't as mass produced. Right. Okay. Yeah. And so you find, you might find like a one of a kind almost. Right. Or a hand signed one or by Xavier Roberts. Like, and more. I see that in so many listings, like yeah. hand signed and yep. they're not hand signed. Yeah. You know, I would think a hand signed one that like literally right. meaning like with ink. Sharpie, yeah. Sharpie or something. Yeah, permanent marker. Mm -hmm. Would be pretty, like I see stuff like this and they're like hand signed. I'm right. like, that isn't hand no. signed. No, yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> it's a screen print. So these yeah. would come from like, are we talking 82? Um, 82 and before. 82 mm -hmm. and before. Yep. Okay. So even before they were even, were they done by Coleco? No, they no. were actually, I don't oh, know. Like God. hand done probably. Yeah, they were handmade. Okay. I don't believe it was Coleco. I'm pretty sure it was mm -hmm. the um, original Appalachian artworks uh -huh. that started the whole gotcha. thing. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Very good. Where is that based out of anyway? Georgia. Yeah. Georgia. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Very good. So that's number three. All right. We're talking about cute cabbage patch dolls, but we just had a little visitor. Wallen's in here taking a nap. But we don't care about you right now. We want to talk about <laughs> cabbage patch kids. Number right. Two, I'm going to make some big money on Cabbage Patch. What am I looking for? Um, So the next thing you want to look for, it's a Babyland General exclusive. Babyland General. Isn't that what yes. that, the, the little museum area thing yes. down there is called? Babyland, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Yeah, and so they still do produce them there. So those ones... They're that still are, making these things? They do, yeah. Okay. And is that the them? only place they make them? Um, as far as I know, they still make them. I know some companies mm -hmm. still do produce them. Okay. That's not through Babyland. Through General, Babyland. So is this kind of like, do. I'm thinking like a Build-A-Bear type process. Kind of, kind of. Okay. I mean, I don't think you get to build it yourself. Oh, okay, okay. I got you. But there are some customizable features, okay. I know, like from the website and things like so that. So you go in and you order it on a website and they make it and send it to you. Right. Or you okay. can go there and adopt it yourself. Very cool. Yeah. So I imagine that they're pretty pricey oh, yes. at there and then in yes. resale value they could yeah. be pretty I mean they can be too. yeah anywhere from like 50 to hundreds mm -hmm. okay very yeah. cool I did not know they were still producing these yeah. things what are they called again babyland general or babyland, babyland general, general exclusives okay. yeah and I'm I'm wondering if people keep these new a lot now I'm sure they do pulling them yeah. out of the packages okay and that's sure. something we haven't discussed which we might talk about in a minute. <laughs> Y'all playing Monopoly? Yeah, no. We're playing Reagan, playing. do you know any Cabbage Patch jokes? No. Any Cabbage Patch jokes? I have a cabbage joke. Cabbage joke. All right, what do you got? Um, why? <laughs> why wasn't the cabbage winning the race? I don't know. Because he wasn't ahead of lettuce. <laughs> I was going to say that! <laughs> I'm going to ask Sarah to give us a few more hints before we get to number one. But before I do, I just want to tell you about her Instagram page really quick. She does adoptions right there on the page, right? Is that yep. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and you have store. a Shopify store right yep. there and a link to your eBay store as yep. well. And these sold out super quick. Are yes. you going to get some more? I am. Okay, yep. very good. And some stickers as well over there. You got to go check out her Instagram and tell her you saw her on the Commonwealth Flipper channel and go subscribe over yep. there and you can keep up with it. Maybe even adopt one yourself. Yes. You kind of cur curate them a little bit. You you right. clean them up and yep. you dress them in, yep. in some clothes. You put diapers on them in yep. the whole nine yards, right? Yep. And you post pictures of them. And yep. I, I love following that. So go check that out over there. And I'm going to throw up a few really quick of some non-doll Cabbage Patch items up on the screen here before we get to number one and show you some value of those type of items. But before I do, Wallen, before I do, <laughs> I'm gonna ask a couple more questions that I'm curious about. Tell right. me about the signature. So we talked a little bit about the real signature. Mm -hmm. Does the color of the signature matter and how can you kind of figure out what the date is or how old something is by the signature? It seems like every listing I look at on eBay talks about it signature on right so. yes so um different years are different colored signatures okay. and some of the different um some of the signatures have the date and some don't and when they don't you can tell the year by the color of the signature okay and so what are some different colors um so there's black pink lavender okay. blue black is 1982 okay um, and there's a ton of guides online that have pictures with the years okay. that you can you know check it out figure i might out. find some here yep. and link them or something like that yep. so black means 1982 that's what that means right there <laughs> Very good, and and if you have a real signature, you have a real signature. I do. Yeah. I hear yep. I hear my uh, trashed cash he compadre sent it to you, Dave yep. N. C. Picker. Yeah. Very cool. And uh -huh. so, if you have a real signature, 
What's kind of the value of, of that? Um, it all depends on what the signature is on. Okay. Mine is on a fur skin bear, and that's probably upwards of a hundred dollars. Okay. Um, but it, if it's on a little people like the self sco soft sculpture, it can uh, be worth more. It if over. it's on a newer one and it's screen printed, mm -hmm. signed, and signed by him himself, Xavier Roberts, mm -hmm. it could be worth more. Very cool. Yeah, it just Very depends. Cool. All right. Thank you. We have finally made it to number one. But yes. before we talk about it, I just want to say thank you You're for welcome. being our expert here. Thank You're you awesome. I appreciate it. She me. gave me these. I'm going to keep these right here. I'm going to put them up on my back wall back there. I really do appreciate sure. it. And I'm giving you a phone call next time I'm out in the All field right. and I need some expert for advice. Sure. Number one, what are the things, if we know enough, we can look for to find the grails out okay. there. Okay, so the grail of a Cabbage Patch, that would be something that has like a combination of a lot of the features we talked okay, about. Okay, so basically what we've already talked about yes. and put a lot of them together into one right. doll. So give me an example. So if you would find, say, a doll that was a, one of the more desirable head molds. Okay, but it had which would have been 19 and 17. Yep. and had okay. like a designer outfit on like this. Okay. Those could be worth more. And popcorn hair. Popcorn hair okay. added into there. Okay. That would even compound the value more, <laughs> even over a thousand dollars in okay. some cases. What about like some of the ethnic dolls? Like mm -hmm. it's an African American doll. Yeah, that also would increase the value because they didn't make as many. They didn't of make those. as many of those mm -hmm. back then. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So if you find one of those, that's that's pretty okay. A pretty good so value there. I'm imagine we'll throw some pictures up here of some combinations of those, and they can be into the thousands of dollars. Yep. Wow. I'm going to find me a thousand dollar cash patch kid. <laughs> yep. I'm a, that's my goal. It's on my list. Nice. Now, thank you so much You're welcome. for stopping by the cabin here. We can't wait to have you back and I appreciate thank you. you.